hello everyone welcome back to the channel so in this video we are going to learn how to use the block state management in our flutter application so if you don't know what is block it is basically a state management just like provider or get x but it is used in large scale applications or you can say enterprise level applications and the benefit of using block state management is that if the scale of our application is large it will be easy to debug and also upgrade the application if we are using the blocks block state management because in here we need to write more code but that will be for our own benefit as it is also recommended by the flutter that you should use block so okay let's start so first of all as we are running this on android so we need to go to android app build our gradle and in here we need to change the minimum sdk variant to 21 and target to 33 and also change the compile sdk variant to 33 after that we can close it and here in the pubspec.yml you can see that i have these two packages in my pubspec.yml so this one is flutter block and this one is equitable so we need these two packages to use the block state management so how to add them one way is to go to the pub.dev and search the packages and add them and the other way is if you are using vs code just press ctrl shift p and after that type add dependency and in here you need to type the name of the package you want to add so for example i will say flutter block and press enter so the flutter block will be added so repeat this for the both of these packages and you are good to go okay so after that we also need an extension if you are using vs code and you are using the block state management so it is not recommended but you can install it so it will be for your own benefit as you won't have to create everything by hand so click on this extension and search block and after that select this one and install it so as i have already installed so i will just close it and come back to our code so here you can see that this is our material app and in here in the home property i will be using the home screen which i have already created to reduce the length of the video so you will focus on only on the logic part okay so here you can see that this is our ui uh, i will open it this is home dot dot and it is a stateless widget so as we are using a state management just like provider or get x or block we don't need to use a stateful widget so this is stateless widget and in here this is a scaffold and we are using a floating action button to increment the value and after that in the body we have these two things this is the value and this value will be upgraded means incremented okay so this is the first video of this series so i have kept it as simple as possible so this is basically the same application the flutter provides but we are using block pattern to create this okay so the logic here if i click on this button i need to upgrade this means increment the value okay so how to do that first of all we need to initialize the block means create the block so click on this lib and right click on it and after that click on this block new block it will come only if you have installed the block extension and after that you need to type the name of the block you want to create so as this is the counter application so i will just simply name it as counter and just press enter and here you can see a block folder is created in which we have these three files okay so what are the these three files so the one is counter block counter event and counter state so when we are clicking on something when we are interacting with the ui for example this one so if i click on this button i will be triggering some event and that event will cause some changes in the ui so both of these things are handled in this our counter block class which extends block this one is our event and this one is our state and okay so 
here you can see this is the constructor and here we can say that when we trigger this event do this it is as simple as this okay so our logic the object of this video is to create a counter application so if i click on this i want to increment it so first of all let's go to the event counter event dot dot and here you can see this is our abstract class which extends equitable and this is a constructor and this is some override of the props so why we need these props so if we are creating some variables in this class and we want to use those variables in some child class of this class then we can pass them in this props so we can use them okay so as this is a simple application and we don't need um, so such complex logic in our event so i will just let's say remove this thing and also remove this and also remove the abstract keyword and this is our code now so after that so this is our main after that what we can say we can create a new class so when i click on this i want to trigger some event so i will call counter increment event which extends our counter event okay so here you can see our one trigger is created our one event is created that on the click of this we want to counter increment event we want to trigger this event okay so when we trigger this event we want to change the ui for that we need to go to the state and in here you can see this is also an abstract class and here you can see this is the initial class already created okay so here we know that we want to upgrade this zero so means we need to create some variable for that so let's say final and int and after that i will say value okay so after that in the constructor i need to use these curly braces you can also do this without using the curly braces but i am going to use the named parameter here so i, I am using these curly braces so after that i will say required this dot value and just save it okay so errors are removed from here but here we can see there is some error before that as we are going to use this value in other classes i am going to pass this like this okay so after that in here this says that we need to create a constructor the constructor is created and as you can see this is the counter initial which extends the counter state so here we can initialize our this thing so i will just remove this and after that i will be using these colons and i will use the super constructor and in here i will initialize this as zero and after that i will also keep it as const and we are good to go okay so event is created the state is created but this is only the initial state that we want to display it means when the application will be started the value will be zero after that when we click on this we want to upgrade it okay for that let's create another state which is counter increment state so which also extends the counter state and let's also create a constructor for it and in here you can also create variable just like we created above like int new value new value and use this but as we are not using such complex logic here so i will just create it like here so int new value and after that i will be using a super constructor and i will just say value will be equal to new value and i will keep it as const okay so on the trigger of this we will emit this state so why we emit because in block when we want to change the ui we emit it so when we are changing the ui we emit the state and when we are interacting with the event we use the event okay so 
okay so let's also use a const here okay so when the block is started the initial value will be started from here as this is also a super constructor and after that it will come down like this okay so for now i will just remove it and i will say on so what is this on thing so as we can see that our block is initialized and now we need to tell on the event on the triggering of this event do this so i need to define the type of the event here so i will say counter increment event so when we trigger this event we want to do something okay so for that let's use this and use a semicolon here so what do we want to do so when we trigger this event we want to call our emit and in here we need to say counter increment state and in here you can see it is asking for the new value as we created here you can see this is the new value so we are initializing the old value with the new value here okay so we can say that state dot value so what is this state it will be coming from this one the counter state so as you can see this is the value we created here this is the variable so it will get this and after that we can add one in it and we are okay so everything is done and now we need to start the block thing so let's go to the main dot dot and in here we need to wrap this thing with our block provider just like we use the provider package so in here we need to say counter block and also we need to import everything so counter block and also this block thing okay so we need to import it manually so package block block and this thing and let's remove this constant from here and we are good okay so let's restart it okay so the block is initialized and now let's come to this home dot dot and in here when we are returning something what do we want to do we want to update this thing so for that what we can say we can simply wrap this text widget or we can wrap this whole widget so i will go with the whole widget as we need to interact with this thing and also the body so just wrap this with the block builder and in here we need to define the type so it is counter and just import everything so okay so everything is done let's save it and now let's restart so if there is an issue we can solve it okay so there is no issue and now let's come to this thing so here you can see this is a text widget and on the place of this text we need to use the variable we created in this counter state so we can say state dot value and dot okay so no need to use anything so what's the issue okay we need to remove this constant okay so here you can see this is not a hard coded value this is the value from this state okay so on the click of this button we want to trigger the event we created here okay so go to our home dot dot and in here on the click of this button so in here we need to say context dot read and in here we need to define the type we want to read so we can say counter block and after that we need to say dot add so when we are triggering some event we need to add them as this add will add the event in the stream so add and in here we need to define the event we want to add means the event we want to trigger so i want to say counter increment event and just save it okay so let's restart once again and 
let's click on this button so this is 0 1 2 3 4 5 means everything is working and let's also print something that am i being called so we can see that how many times this thing is being called okay so here you can see it is called once and if i click on this so here you can see it is not being called again and again just like it does when we are using that set state so this is how you can use the block okay so we know how to increment it let's also add some more thing in this counter let's also decrement the value okay so let's go back to the event and in here i will just copy this event and i will just say instead of this increment i will say decrement okay so go back to the state and instead of this increment i will copy this paste it and after that i will change this to decrement and also change this to decrement so this is our new value and this is this will replace the old value with the new value and after that go back to the counter block and in here this is for incrementing let me also comment it incrementing and this one will be decrementing so on so on when we trigger counter decrement event we need to say emit and in here we need to call counter decrement state and in here i will say state dot value minus one okay now go back to home dot dot and in here in this floating action button let's just copy this and wrap this thing with the row where is row and also change the main axis size to minimum and just paste it again and change this value to the minus or we can say remove okay so in here on the click of this remove okay on the click of this button instead of incrementing i will call i will trigger the decrement event okay so restart once again so this is zero which is the this initialize value and after that let's increment it and decrement it so this is how you can easily use block pattern so as this is a simple application as this is a simple example we will work on some complex things also so if you like this video press that like button and subscribe to the channel for more so see you in the next one till that allah is